hi everyone and welcome back welcome to this playlist uh, how to become a ninja developer and in this video we are going to talk about the branching strategy uh, because you will be building a projects and you might be using github gitlab or bitbucket but you are still using version control git and you will be following some kind of a branching strategy to raise the pr or merge request or pull request for your code because you might be having some feature assigned and then you start working on your code so this video is going to help you a lot to understand the different branching strategies and how you should do all these interactions with your repository so this is you and this is your github repository and you are using some branching strategy right because in your team you are not the only one developer working on that particular repository there may be 10 more developers pushing the features on the same repository then you always get into a trouble you need to do the rebase merge conflict and all those concepts so you should be good at understanding all those things and you should be able to resolve all those things like a ninja right so what we are going to do is we are going to play with this repository fun with uh, git so that let's say we are going to orchestrate it using two different developers this is my developer one who is working on this repository git clone so first of all where i am i'll just do git clone this repository here and i will just this is developer B and I will just do git clone <clears throat> and I will just open this and with this A and B so this I'm opening A here and we are opening B here so there are two different developers are going to play with the code so this is A and this is B we are all set so what we are going to do is we are going to set the two different usernames because there are two different developers interacting with the code and then we will play with the branching okay so here is the a we are inside a main branch this is developer b and then we will set a username local username for this particular repository so here I'm setting, okay, I am <clears throat> developer A and here I am developer B. Okay, both are working on same repository. So what, uh, what other thing I'm going to have is, let's say we have the multiple repositories here because main we are not going to use we are going to play with dev and master branch okay develop is for dev environment and master is for master production and we are creating it from main branch so i will just fetch uh, the remote branches now let's talk about the branching strategy what you can follow so there are many multiple strategies which you can follow for code collaboration right because i do have is two different environment here is my develop and this is my master and this is really useful and this is really important for developers to understand how we are going to collaborate so this is let's say develop and this is say master so what i can say is let's say if you want to build a new feature then developer a will come and he will create a feature branch from develop let's say i will just create it as a feature branch check uh, and my ticket number is 90 okay so this is my feature branch look like i will add my commits and then i will just raise a merge request against develop right and my merge request is merged then what i will do is there are different strategies different ways to do it the master we are not allowing to merge the branch to the master we are just synchronizing dev commits to master directly 
okay it's like sync we are doing at the end of the week or in the release so all the dev code is going to the master i mean there are lots of disadvantages in doing it and this is right uh, this is really not the right way of doing it let's say there is a master and there is a staging branch this is staging and then you again do the same sync with the staging to the master right so all the developers are doing it uh, they are just uh, creating a feature branch and even the code is not ready they merged it to develop and they start testing their features on the develop branch and then somehow at the end of the week i want to synchronize so i want to move all the features from develop to stage and stage to master but there are some features which are not really ready for moving those from develop to stage because they are still in testing so in that case i i would end up merging those commits which are not even ready for staging to the stage because we don't have the feature branches all these developers are creating the feature branch and merging their code to develop and they are testing it right so in that case we are we don't have these those feature branches available and we are just doing synchronization of develop to stage we are just creating a release from develop to stage and stage to master so this is our trunk which we are taking as a baseline so if i need to create a new feature branch i am creating it from the develop okay and then just in that case uh, there will be merge conflicts let's say if uh, two developers took the feature branch created a feature branch at the same moment from the develop and then they updated the same files and they merged it to the develop then they will get the merge conflict and then they need to resolve it by merging the develop branch into their branch and then push their their uh, merge request okay those scenarios we will see how that that merge conflict can be and how we can resolve so let's say uh, we'll talk about the first scenario this is the first branching strategy so we'll just go to go to get check out develop this uh, developer a and then developer b get check out develop okay both are working on the same branch git log okay and what do i have is readme here i will just create app.js file and i'm just doing console.log say hello from a and then there is a same app.js file and here i'm saying say hello from b right and what we are doing is we are just doing a raising a commit git status okay am i on the develop branch and i added this new file okay again i'm doing the same mistake i need to move this file inside otherwise it won't track right this is not a repository so if i'm doing git status i got this file i will just add it git commit minus m app dot js file added from a okay i will just copy this git message and here i will say is git status git commit minus m from b and uh, what happened git status git add app.js git commit and what i will do is let's say a has pushed uh, first of all i i should not commit directly on the develop i should have created a new branch out of it which we did some mistake but that's fine tag uh, okay i will just mark it as a feature 1990 okay and then what i will do is i will just push this feature branch and here also i will just do git status git uh, checkout i will create a new feature branch i mean there should be a convention you might be following for naming of the branches git push origin this is my branch name what will happen is let's say i reviewed the first branch for first mr and i approve it 
so i will be just merging it inside a develop branch okay create a pull request and i can merge it because there is no conflict so from uh, user b i was able to merge it now i will be checking from the side a and i will try to create a merge request create a pull request and i need to change the branch name so let's go edit because we are merging it inside a develop and here i can see the conflicts right the branch has the conflict that must be resolved why those are the conflict because we were changing the same file so how should we resolve it so this is side b and this is side a right how i will do it we need to resolve it locally right so i will just do a git checkout so first of all you can just fetch the origin uh, develop okay sorry what i'm doing so this is the feature branch i will just check out develop branch git checkout develop so this will give me the latest it, it just switched the develop branch i didn't pull the latest changes from there so git pull origin develop it will give me the latest changes right and when i when i take these develop branch changes there will be a conflict because on the same develop branch we have pushed something else so i will just accept incoming change or you can say accept both the changes a and b and then what i will do is i will merge this develop branch into my feature branch it is showing conflict because i created the this branch or where is that branch name this is fun with a get branch i created this branch after adding the commit on the develop that's not the the right way so what i did is there will be a merge conflict because this on this branch we already have this local commit okay so i we need to resolve this conflict git status git add and git commit minus m added both the changes okay now this is my develop branch and i will just do a git checkout to my feature branch git branch what all different branch we have here tech 1990 git checkout tech 11990 and git merge develop okay now this is good right now i can push it git push origin so this is how you will resolving the conflict because you are creating a merge request against develop and there are conflicts so you need to merge develop inside your feature branch and you need to push it so now if i just see this merge request uh, okay now this should be resolved automatically and i should be able to merge and then what you will do is you will create a merge request to synchronize these feature changes create a new pull request and i will merge develop into master or staging or whatever the the branch names you have create pr this is trunk based because here at the end of uh, your release you will be just creating a release against master and deploying your code to the production but these are the conflict scenarios and there is a risk because might be some of the features you have we have pushed on develop which are not even ready to be deployed to the stage and your the deployment pipeline will be blocked because those commits are already on develop which you are ready which you are trying to synchronize with the stage right either whatever the feature you are building which are not targeted for stage do not add here in this but that's not possible because multiple developers they want to test their features to, so they will send a merge request to develop now this is synchronization based which is not going to work when multiple developers are working so some of the features may go to the productions 
which are not even ready for that right so to avoid that what we can do let's say there are multiple developers are working on different branches so what we will do is instead of this what we will say to each and every developer is okay go and create a branch from master only master is the latest one i mean master is the active one and it is a production code most stable so this you should consider as your primary branch from there you can create your feature branch okay so what i will do is uh, i will just switch them here so we can understand them better so this is master and this is develop branch so from master you will create a feature branch so feature tag 1990 and you will add your commits here and once your commits are done you will create a merge request against develop because this is your the this is your first environment you where you are going to test this right if everything is good keep this feature branch live don't delete it merge it to develop okay your dev commits are on the develop branch and then same branch you can merge to the master branch right so in this case you are sending only those commits which are ready for production right and you may also see a conflicts and merge merge conflicts and all you should always rebase with the master in this case because master has the latest code let's say there are two developers a and b what uh, a has done is a created a feature and merged it to develop and then same merged it to the master b has already taken a check out from the master before a has started a work so while a is sending a code to the develop obviously he will get a merge conflict right so what he can do is he can take the rebase from the master every time whenever he see he or she sees a conflict okay so in that case he will get the those, those same commits on the feature branch and then the conflict will be resolved right so let's try to orchestrate this there are a and b developers so what we are going to do is we will just to git check out master and we will talk about uh, the rebase here so here these are the two terminals let's come them let's put them together git check out here also master what happened okay i have just added an enter which we don't need git check out master so we are on the master branch i will check out a feature branch from this git check out minus b feature tech x1 and here i will just check out another branch git check out minus b this is how we create a new branch x2 okay so we'll start working on the the projects master right now okay the first of all now i took the i created this feature branch right but it doesn't have this latest code what i will do is uh, i will just uh, git check out first of all git check out master and i will get the latest code and then i will go to my feature branch git check out feature branch here also git check out feature branch i created this branch without even taking the latest so i can just do simple git rebase master and here also i can just do git rebase master right so what i did i got is i got app.js file already there so what i did is i rebase with master and my git log history is fine right now we merge the develop into master now i will start building a feature so this is x1 branch okay i need to go to x branch where i am right now git branch i need to go to tech x2 git check out and git rebase with master i switched to a wrong branch 
okay now we'll start building a feature both the developers took the checkout from the master branch here i am adding hello.js file console.log say hello from a okay so here also i'm creating the same file hello.js and i'm saying console.hello from b so this is the feature branch i took from the master so i can just add a commit and send it to the merge request against develop so we will try to create a merge conflict scenario and then we will see how we can resolve it so git status git okay you need to move this file here again same mistake git status git add git commit minus m hello js added from a okay i will just push this git push origin similarly i will just add a commit hello js added from b git push origin this feature branch which we got from the master branch right so this is what we are doing which created a feature branch from master and now we will just raise a merge request against develop so let's go to our github and see what feature branch we have created so we'll just raise a merge request against develop create pull request And this can be merged because the first one who is coming should be able to merge easily right because there is no conflict only one file change now if i'm coming from b i should be getting the conflict so you got okay i didn't get the conflict let's see I created hello.js from B. Okay, I didn't even merge this right now. From X1, confirm merge. And then there is another request from B. And it will check. Okay, now we have a conflict. So, what I will do is in this particular case, because you need to maintain your feature branch, the important aspect here is this is your feature branch and same feature branch you have to push to develop and then same feature branch you have to push to master right so in the case of conflict what you can do is the best way of dealing with these things is create a temp branch because you don't want it to pollute your feature branch which is fresh and you wanted to merge it to develop and master so i got the conflict who got the conflict the developer b okay i will just check x2 got the conflict right so tech x1 this is this is tech x2 so i will just check out develop and take the latest okay so how to resolve this locally is first of all what we can do is I mean i can resolve the conflict simply by just i took the latest develop and then i merge the develop branch into this get checkout get merge develop we got the except both the changes get status git add and it will introduce obviously a new commit because it's a merge and we have to merge it we cannot rebase in this situation where there is a conflict and i will just uh, git push origin okay so okay the the mistake i did is we didn't create a temp branch i merged it directly into the the main branch the ideal case is what you can do is you should always create a temp branch here so temp branch from your feature branch and then merge the develop into temp branch and then 
send this merge request to develop so now your conflict is resolved let's say this is where your conflicts were so this particular use case is only about merge then let's talk about the rebase so this is how you should be able to resolve the conflict and get your work going okay so let's try to understand uh, uh, the rebase because we have already discussed about how we are resolving the conflict when multiple developers are working and they are just uh, sending the merge request with the same code change i mean that is very rare scenario when two developers are just conflicting the same files but that is fine now in this branching strategy what we are saying is we are creating the feature branch from the master okay so you created this feature branch and let's say you didn't get any conflict you merged it to develop and then same feature branch that is still there you didn't delete the feature branch you are just with the same commits you are merging it to the master that's an idle scenario right but when you are multiple developers are working what will happen is let's say developer a who created this feature branch and merged it to develop and the same feature branch he developed uh, he merged it to, into master at the same moment when the same the developer was working you also created your feature branch from the master with a different feature let's say 9991 you created the same feature branch and you started working on that code the developer a has already merged the same features uh, same feature branch to develop and the master both and he has changed the same set of files so obviously while you merge it to develop you will get the conflict but the, but the developer a has already pushed the code to master you get a good chance that you can rebase your feature branch with the master and get all those commits on your feature branch so because when you are doing a merge it is generating a new merge uh, commit first of all and merge when it when you want to choose between merge and rebase you should always go for rebase to have a clean git history so let's try to recreate this scenario merge we have already done what what in the previous example we were doing is two developers working on the same feature or different feature branch which they check out from the master and they are changing the same files and they are just merging it to develop and then they are getting the conflicts okay but here we can do the rebase because that uh, the the developer a has already merged those features to develop and the master so developer b can rebase uh, his feature branch with the master and can get all those commits in his local branch so he won't get the merge conflict while merging it with the developer or master so let's try to create this scenario so this is uh, we'll just go to master git checkout master in master we don't have any code first of all we didn't merge these feature runs to master so i will just try to synchronize the code from develop to master so we get all the commits there so uh, I will just do develop to master so that we can just talk about the, the next demo example. And here we got the commits from both the developers. Okay, first of all, let's get the latest master. Here also get checkout master and get the latest copy of master okay we got it and we are getting these merge conflict logs also accepted both the changes that's fine because we are doing merge so all the commits i just synchronized from develop to master the strategy one which we discussed now i will just this is a developer a developer a is smart and he just working on fun feature which is let's say tag a this is the branch he created from the master and he changed lots of files hello world hello js uh, app js also he changed something console.log 
hello world okay and what he did is he just added the commits git add git commit changes from developer a and he posted this feature branch and then he merged it to develop and then same feature branch is merging it to the master so i'm merging it to develop create pull request okay we'll go to this new pull request and i will just merge this to the master okay so we merge the same commits see because this is the same feature branch we are merging to dev and to the master so developer a is happy his feature is on develop and master both now developer b started working on that git checkout minus b and tech b so we have this copy and he started doing the changes he removed actually this line so he changing the same files messages same changes to here and we actually changed uh, the same files so git add git commit minus m updated files okay now when you send a feature request merge request it's better to uh, create a rebase so first of all git checkout uh, master take the latest uh, changes from the remote i mean there are different ways to fetch the origin and then go to your tech branch tech b git checkout tech b okay tech b has some different code because we added a commit so our, what i will do is git rebase with master right so this is how we will do the rebase because uh, we got the conflicts here and we are going to send a merge request against develop but we took the rebase first from the master because there may be some code which has been posted by other developers on available on the master so let's take the latest code so we should not get a conflict so i will just say what whatever accept current change or accept both change i will just say accept incoming change accept current change means whatever is there i want to keep it accept current change and once you resolve it just add those files and say git rebase continue or you can just do a vote if you want but we can continue this and it's resolved right now i can do is git push origin tag b So this way we have we were able to resolve the conflicts before even it arrives to us now we can see i am merging it to develop branch tag being to develop and we should not see the conflicts because we already rebase this branch with master right so this is how two developers can collaborate and can work together here after doing rebase you might be able to add some more commits uh, or you may choose which change you wanted to accept while doing the rebase either the master changes or your own changes and here you can see git log changes from dev a you can see there is no extra commit we have added right because when you do the git rebase either you can modify the commit which you are receiving or it, it won't create a new commit like the git merge is doing when you do git merge you resolve the conflict and you have to commit here we are just adding it and then git rebase continue and i just did git push tag a sorry uh tag b here we are 
So if you just see git log changes from A and uh, we merge this, I mean we uh, changes from tag A, this was the initial commit and this is the commit when the tag A was merged into the develop branch. Okay, so our history is the clean and I, I don't see any conflict while merging to develop. So I can just simply merge it, this is merged and I can also merge my feature into master. So this is tag B. No conflict, I, I mean there are nothing to commit because tag B is also carrying the same commits which uh, the tag A already has merged, right? Because I didn't add any new things on top of after doing the rebase. Rebase is just like resolving the conflict. I accepted the changes which were already there from coming from A. So sometimes what happens is I try to merge, I try to accept the, both the changes and do some changes on top of that. Then there will be some changes for the master. Okay, so this is just like a simple demo how you can just play with the merge and rebase. But this branching strategy is uh, more popular and good one. When you are working, just take the feature check out from the master branch, work on your feature branch. If you don't see any conflict with the develop, then just use the same branch and merge it to develop and same feature branch merge it to master. Otherwise, create the tag version of it, temp version of it and merge it to temp, merge the temp branch. Because what will happen is how you resolve the conflict is you will merge the develop branch into your temp branch. Okay, once that is done, you will resolve the conflict and you send uh, add the commit and send this temp branch to uh, develop and you will just merge those commits. So your feature branch is still clean. Feature branch doesn't have the develop branch in it. We don't need to pollute the feature branch. And then if the feature branch is clean, you can push those commits to the master. Okay. So I mean, there are multiple branching strategies, but this is what uh, uh, I frequently use and this is really nice. Okay. So it, it, it was all about talking about git rebase, uh, git merge and all those different uh, git features. I was not talking about git tutorials or anything. This, this is how you can play with uh, your GitHub.